viewers welcome to our first concept tv headline a mifele storm caught with big bible see what happened next Gordon Mefele, suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, arrived at the Federal High Court in Ikoyi, Lagos, around 9.18 a.m. on Tuesday. Surprisingly, the suspended CBN governor did not arrive empty-handed. According to reports, he arrived catching and um, clutching the Bible. The holy book was stuck inside a red paper bag. Mefele is scheduled to be rearranged before Nicholas Mobi, the pre uh, President George over alleged illegal possession of firearms. On June 7, on June 9, President, uh, President Bola Tunubu suspended Emifile and asked him to transfer his responsibility to Fash um, and Fala Shade ADBC Shonubi, Deputy Governor Operation Directorate. The day after the DSS announced that Emifile was in his custody for some investigation reasons. Meanwhile, after he arrived court on Tuesday, he pleaded not guilty to in to not get to the two counts of um, alleged illegal possession of firearms and ammunition when he was um, assigned before the Federal High Court in Lagos. Mifile is facing two counts bordering on illegal possession of firearms and ammunition preferred against him by the Federal Ministry of Justice before the vacation judge, Justice Nicholas Mobi. The Ministry of Justice in, the, in charge accused Mifile of possessing a single barrel gun shot Joe um Joe J F, um Magnum eight three seven one without a license. The agency also accused him of illegally being in possession of twenty three rounds of living of leave ammunition without a license. FMJ said that the defendant committed the offense on June 15, twenty three at number three B Evil Close Ikoyi area of Lagos. According to the charge. The offence committed contravenes Section 4 and Section 8 of the Firearms Cap F28 Laws of the Federation Act 2004 and punishable underscore the 71B12 of this same act. In addition to this, Justice Nicholas Mobi of the Federal High Court in Lagos said rejected the federal government's claim that it had not received a copy of the bill application filed by the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria in his alleged gun possession trial. The judge held that there was evidence that the government had been served. The bill application was filed by Mephiles lawyer led by Joseph B. Dauda San. Dauda and urged the court to hear defendant application seeking bail on self-recognition, noting that his client had fulfilled all the conditions necessary to make the application VIP for hearing. Gordon Mefele, suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, arrived at the Federal High Court in Ikoyi, Lagos, around 9.18 a.m. on Tuesday. Surprisingly, the suspended CBN governor did not arrive empty-handed. According to reports, he arrived catching and um, clutching the Bible. The holy book was stuck inside a red paper bag. Mefele is scheduled to be rearranged before Nicholas Mobi, the pre uh, President George, over alleged illegal possession of firearms. On June 7, on June 9, President, uh, President Bola Tunubu suspended Emifile and asked him to transfer his responsibility to Fash um, um, Fala Shade ADBC Shonubi, Deputy Governor Operation Directorate. The day after the DSS announced that Emifile was in his custody for some investigation reasons. Meanwhile, after he arrived court on Tuesday, he pleaded not guilty to in to not get to the two counts of um, alleged illegal possession of firearms and ammunition when he was um, assigned before the Federal High Court in Lagos. Mifile is facing two counts bordering on illegal possession of firearms and ammunition preferred against him by the Federal Ministry of Justice before the vacation judge, Justice Nicholas Mobi. The Ministry of Justice in, the, in charge accused Mifile of possessing a single barrel gun shot Joe um Joe J F, um Magnum eight three seven one without a license. The agency also accused him of illegally being in possession of twenty three rounds of living of leave ammunition without a license. FMJ said that the defendant committed the offense on June fifteen twenty three at number three B Evil Close Ikoyi area of Lagos. According to the charge. The offence committed contravenes Section 4 and Section 8 of the Firearms Cap F28 Laws of the Federation Act 2004 and punishable underscore the 71B12 
two of this same act. Alright, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Hmm. The headline says, A mere fearless storm caught with big Bible. See what happened next. First of all, before we talk about um court and drama, now let's talk about a mere fearless coming to court with big Bible. What came to my mind is that, is he a pastor? She have decided to join because some people that will carry Bible, the way you carry this is the way that all these men of God used to carry Bible. They want to go, maybe that you call them to come and preach, they will carry it. They will hold it like to their chest, to their hearts. It was some of them who hold it beside, like, come and see if they are, they, are, they, are, they are going with the Holy Ghost. They are going with the Holy Ghost to go and minister. They are going. Ah, ah. I, is the maybe, maybe that's, please, so, as maybe they join pastor, this, 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 this period, though, since court has said, me, I will not, the, 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 the SS have uh, comprehend, cap, uh, caption me. Every cuckoo man join pastor. And be serving, use my life to serve God. I be happy. Yeah, I be. you have joined pastor. I be. It's just what is the Bible for? Share the Bible that they used to swear. You know, before you start any court case, they will ask you. You will say nothing. I will tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Do we remember? So, so I feel like it was seen for the carrying Bible. Ha. Hey. If you have done born again, you remind you that is listening to me. You need to be born again, my brother and sister. Give your life to Jesus. You understand? Okay. Let's read comments. What he says, funny. After all the grabber, he was only charged with illegal possession of firearms and ammunition. Yeah, yeah. Like you see why I didn't I don't even want to go to that aspect because it really surprised me that after all the grabber dragging him to court, pulling him, this was the thing that they say they they are holding hands that that's why they they apprehended in the DSS confinement. I didn't want any somebody. I didn't know I didn't want any somebody. What the says, DSS have become a very useless organization since APC took over the federal government in 2015. Mm. I hope they will arrest and charge Asari too. We are watching. Oh, hmm. so they says, my uncle died because his useless, cashless, because of this useless cashless policy. He should not be bailed. Seriously, that cashless. I, I'm saying that even if people want them to release him for the fact of what happened during the cashless policy people will say no nail him to cross nail him to cross we that we not go agree we need that kind of feeling but the fact is that they need they need to follow the due process in the sense that may feel it has done a lot of harm they need to follow the due process they need to follow to arrest him they need to follow and listen to what court has to say that is just the thing we know a lot of people experience a lot of hardship during that period but yeah, says, are you saying he also robbed despite being in possession of all Nigerian money? You people are very funny. My brother, my brother, um, this, this DSS and their drama, I th- I'm, they listen to me too, I'm confused and I'm tired. Anyway, let's see the outcome of all this whole Emifele and Kurt Wahala. All right, viewers, we have come to today's news. Please do it by the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.